Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video I've got a performance tip for you, how to polish up a piece of music up to performance level. If you're just first starting a piece and then you learn it through, you've been working on it, working on it, how do you get it from that middle stage of working on it up to the final performance ready polished version? That's what this video will be about. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell for the notifications. One of the ways that you can get something ready for performance is putting it to sleep. And this sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but it actually does work. And so if you are learning a piece, you get it ready, you've learned the notes, right? You get it up to a particular point, but it's not performance ready yet. You, you pretty much know it, but you're not ready to, to share it in front of people. One of the things that you can do is put it into a hibernation period. And that way, it could be a month, it could be a week, it could be six months, however long. If you've learned it really well, it'll be really easy to revive it after a break. If you've, if you've memorized it and you've memorized it really well, if you've taken notes and you really have your fingerings worked out and you've got them marked in your score, if, then you can take a break and you don't have to fear not being able to play it when you come back because you can very quickly resuscitate it from its hibernation. So you can get it to a particular point and then step away and do other things. Then when you come back to it, you can be completely fresh with it. You will have digested it in a different way over time and you will have been working on other things. And so you could have new skills, new perspective on it from that point. In there's a, I've heard this and I'm, I'm not a, a Japanese craftsman myself, but I've heard this about Japanese craftsmen that they'll oftentimes get something very near the end and then they'll stop. And then so that they come back and do the very last finishing details on something completely fresh so that they don't just plow through the very end. Instead, they get it to a point, they stop, they step back, in effect, putting it to sleep, like we're talking about here, and, and then come back really fresh and with full creative energy, and then do that last bit from that place of freshness. We can do the same thing with our pieces. A lot of people have talked about this, but I most recently read it in By Heart, a book by Paul Cianiwa. I could be mispronouncing that name, but it's an excellent little book on memorizing music. And so putting it to sleep, this is his phrase. I hadn't heard it with that phrase before, but I have used this technique myself and it is excellent. And I highly recommend you do this with a piece that you're working on now that's almost there. Step away from it for a little while and then come back. But again, you wanna make sure that you're learning really well, instilling good habits in your practice, such as really clear focus and presence, like total presence with what you're doing in your practice, and also making good notes, working out your fingerings and uh, making nice notes and, and details in your music or in a journal so that you can come back to it and just jump right back into where you were. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this and please subscribe to this channel if you have and good luck in your performance and in your playing. See you soon. Bye-bye.